Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will see how we can commit multiple files or how we can push multiple files to the staging and as well as of committing those files. So right now we only have index.html present under the repository folder. So if you go to your bash command, you will see if you do an ls, it will only list that you only have index.html present. Now I'm going to add two different files here. One is called as the orange.html and the other one will be in a, uh, called blue.html. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and copy these contents and save this file as uh, orange.html html and uh, this file is also present under the same my git repo folder so you just go ahead and save it as an html file here and then go ahead and hit save and then create another file and i will just reward the timing i'm just going to paste the same exact thing here and then i'm going to go ahead and save this particular file as blue dot of html so once we do that, go ahead and save it and I'll make the necessary changes to the file so that the all the three files are different. So the title of the page will become the orange pages and uh, that's the title of the page. And if you want to change the color, you can go ahead and change this one to let's say I wanted to change it to F90 and then you have the same title here as well the orange page so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this whole thing here so now if you go ahead and see I have changed the orange.html I have changed the title of the page and I've also uh, marked Dine style here and then I have this some paragraph after it and similarly I have also added the blue page so the title is changed to the blue page and it just displays blue is the color of the sky so let's go ahead and uh, look at these files in the browser so we have stored these files under the c directory here on the desktop there is a folder called my git repo and in this these are the three different files i have so if i wanted to go ahead and run them with the chrome i can go ahead and run it and similarly i can go ahead and run the next one if i want how does the internet ex browser explore and then I'm going to go ahead and open the orange dot HTML as well and the Google Chrome so now you can see it has the blue page here and then then a colorful website this is the simple index page and then you have is the orange page here so if you want to change the color let me go ahead and change the blue color instead of to F blue orange I'm going to make it to blue so I'm gonna have it changed to the blue let's go ahead and see how does this page looks like so if I go ahead and refresh it's gonna have a blue heading here a colorful website and this is gonna be an orange color so now we have chain we have made the uh, now we have created these three files under our repository so now if I go ahead and look at the status of my repository you will see that it's going to say that there are two untracked files means these are the files which are not getting tracked by the git so this is the command to check out what is the status of your repository so first we need to go ahead and add these files there are a couple of ways you can add it either you can just say git add and just have a dot sign what will it do is it will add all the files that you want to what is whatever is untracked here but if you do not want to do that if there is a file that you do not want to add it to the tracking then you can just specify the files that you want to add by specifying the name here with the space and then the next one we have is orange.html here so now these are the two files that you want to track so go ahead and hit the enter button and now if you look at the status one more time what you will see here is you will see that okay these files are being tracked now so these files have moved to the staging now the next thing we need to do is they are still not committed as I told you, the commit happens in two step. One we have already done, that is adding or putting it to the staging or creating the snapshot. That's what we have done. Now we need to go ahead and add these files to or commit these files. So to commit them, we have the command to do is git commit. And then you always specify a message. And what is the message you want to specify here? You can, you can write simple as committed blue and orange pages 
So this is the message I wanted to display. So now if you go ahead and look under this particular repository folder, you see there are three files are present, blue.html, index.html, and orange.html. And if you want to look at the status, now the status of the working directory is matching the repository. So there's nothing to change, nothing we have added or there is no change between the repository directory as well as your working directory. So now if the git status will say there is nothing to commit, everything is totally in sync together. Now, if you want to, there is this git status is the command which tells you about the status of the repository. Now, if you wanted to know about which, about the committing history, like who committed or what, got, when got committed or what, which files got committed. If you want to know about the committing history, there is a command to do that called git log. So if this command, what will it display? Will It will display you that, okay, these were the files. There are two commits happen. Since the blue and the orange commit happen together in one shot, that's why there is only one message that is displayed here. And then index.html got, got committed first. So you will see that these are the two commit happen. One is the committed blue and orange, which we just did, we have added two files here. And then the second one that we did earlier was this adding of this index file here.